This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. This is unprecedented. Never happened before. Here's a quick schedule. May 23rd through 24th. We will be passing through several hundred years of Comet 209P linear debris fields. Leftover dust and debris from the many times it's come around and around and around. Round and round. Hey. And then on the 29th, Comet 209P linear will be passing right by Earth as coincidence, kismet, and fate would have it. All night long. All night. Talk about astronomy. All night. All night long. Man, this one's extra silly. I blame the comets. Comets are harbingers of me acting extra dorky. All right, I made a video a while back on Comet 209P Linear. I misidentified it, and to this day, the super astronomy dorks. I wouldn't even qualify them as geeks or nerds. They're just dorks, man. Still give me crap about it, even though I admit I dropped the ball. You know what? I dropped the ball, but it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, I am back talking about this comet, and to uh, ensure my integrity and my factualiness, I've recruited Jane Houston Jones from the Jet Propulsion Lab, Pasadena, California. Take it away, Jane. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Houston Jones from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. What's up for May? Great views of Saturn and Mars all night long, and a possible new meteor shower. On the nights of May 23rd and 24th, Earth will possibly pass through the dust trails left by this comet in its previous orbits. If this happens, we just might see a new meteor shower. This potential new shower is so new that astronomers are not quite sure what to expect. Predictions run from less than 100 meteors per hour up to an unlikely but possible meteor storm as high as 1,000 per hour. On the night of when this meteor storm could take place, I'm guessing nothing's gonna happen. It'd be like Comet Ison, like just a total nothing dud. Uh, like hey, this is probably gonna be a total and absolute dud. But they're still saying there's a one percent chance of thousand meteors per minute, or I guess hour or more. And when comets break up, like as they get hotter, it's like when ice breaks up. It doesn't always break up in uniform like misty water. Sometimes it breaks up in big chunks, right? You guys have been searching. The debris field for a while, I guess. Looking at it with your telescopies. Okay, great. Speaking of comets, Comet 209P Linear makes a close pass by Earth on May 29th. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jane Jet Houston. I didn't bring you here to uh, get all doomy on me. Now I know that this comet is coming 21 lunar distances close, way far from Earth. But there's no reason to panic. All comets are small that are near Earth and comets that are farther away can be large then right baby you know the rule so no do me i didn't bring you here to be do me i mean i'll never get to shake hands with all those hot astrophysicists that work at improving space exploration travel and getting everybody's spaceship you know all right so whatever you do do not mention the possible giant chunks of space ice rock metal okay deal all right sounds good you may be able to spot the small, faint comet as it passes the familiar constellations Ursa Major and Leo from May 10th through the 27th. Alright, so you might get to see the comet, 209P Linear. Astro says no, it's tiny. So even though it's coming very close to Earth, by, as far as comets go, 21 or so lunar distances. Dr. Astro, who is like NASA's left arm's middle finger, says no, you won't even get to see it, barely. It's a wimpy, stupid comet. And I'm like, okay. And then they're like, hey, but we could be passing through all of its de debris trails. And any part of professional science's physics is correct about comets. You could get a meteor shower, could get a meteor show. And it's a brand new one. I think they'll call it the Lineids. I don't know. The meteor shower's radiant is near Polaris and the constellation Camelopardalis, the camel leopard or giraffe. And it favors observers in southern Canada and the continental U.S. Set your alarm clock for midnight on May 23rd and 24th, and keep your eyes peeled for slow-moving but bright meteors both nights if you can. Like those astronomy dork dicks? I think they've written a whole book on how hilarious they find BP Earthwatch mispronouncing Camelopardalis. 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 I know, it's funny to watch them type out how... They're making fun of BP's pronunciation of it. But all you ever do is tap on a fucking keyboard, man. You never pronounce nothing. 
so you don't ever make pronunciation mistakes. Do you not understand that? Like, God, you dorks are so anti-socially ignorant. Like, really? Anyway, Camelopardis. Ethan Camelopardis funny. Camelopardis. I've never had another conversation with a human being outside of ordering food, but I like to make fun of people's pronunciations. Yes, I do. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, there's a possibility one day I'll get to make out with Amy Manzer. Asterisk. Whatever. I shouldn't be making videos today. I'm in a bad mood. Okay. What are you waiting for me to train wreck this mopo? Okay. You want me to camel yo par da 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 listen it? That's fine. I can do that. But first, let's set the train on fire. Second, let's put it at the top of the atmosphere and drop it. Third, I'm gonna need some beer. And some whiskey! Well, two shots of tequila. What are you talking about? Nothing. I think I'm a ramble for just never. And then mayonnaise bike it all the way to the cloud in my shoe. Got that? Yep. It's one of them days. Hey, Jane. This ain't about me. This is about Comet 209P. Linear. And it's Meteor Storm of Madness. All night long. On that. Better be fun to uh, talk about astronomy. All night long. Some of the JPL ladies. All night. All night long. All night. Talk about astronomy. All night. All night long. Comments are harbingers of me acting extra dumberassery. Fuggery. I can't have licking on my my thingy. So I'm just, you know. Okay, the premise. All right, this video for you fact seekers and only facts. I'm in a bad mood today. Man, you're either crazy or dumb or a little bit of both. Still in a bad mood. And here's the deal with comets. Out! Because here's, here's how it works. In the whole professional astronomers versus Thor. The professional astronomy community is very large. There are many people in the professional astronomy community. So they all get to give their opinion. Like, let's say, with Comet Ison. Could be the comet of the century. Could be a total dud. Could die perihelion. Could break into a million chunks and pepper earth. You know, it could be the greatest sight you've ever seen. So they get to make like a hundred guesses. And I get to make one guess. And that when the event happens, I get my one guess. And then they get to pick from their hundred. Because I didn't come up with the whole comet Ison could be the comet of the century. You know, I only entered that foray like three months in after they announced it. And we ain't got any photographs of it. You know, I mean, that's when I started. And, and it all got to this. We will be passing through all the trails ejected by this comet between 1803 and 1924. And as a consequence, this shower might as well be a storm with a potential to see more than a thousand meteors per hour under ideal conditions. So if we start planning now, we can have the ultimate meteor storm party. You can learn about all of NASA's missions, including those that study comets, Mars, and Saturn at www.nasa.gov. That's all for this month. I'm Jane Houston Jones.